A documentary shines new light on a dark chapter in Texas history, a massacre in a tiny West Texas community. Along the way, a lot of things happened. Not all of them good. Not all of them much to be proud of. Mexican-American villagers pulled from their homes, then killed by Texas Rangers and U.S. soldiers. The history was hidden for decades, but no longer. Arsalo Hernandez interviewed the movie's producer. That film is called Porvenir, Texas, and we're joined by the producer, Cristina Fernandez Schafter. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I saw this film just a few minutes ago, and I was telling you that I had to really compose myself because it's such a powerful film. Tell us about it. Well, you know, my husband uh, and I ran across this um, story just sort of by accident in 2016. Uh, we were doing research for another uh, film that we were about to embark. We were going to write a screenplay. We needed a backdrop. We wanted to have something in West Texas, and we discovered this story, and my husband was just completely taken by these events and, and understanding that they were buried yeah. for a really long time. My husband, Andrew Schapter, um, the director of the film, um, actually passed away uh, February 23rd from cancer and um, complications from that, lymphedema. And um, I had to make a, a really hard decision if I was going to move forward with finishing this film um, or to shelve it. And I decided that it was something that he was so passionate about, I needed to make sure that it happened. So for the past seven months, I've just been, uh, you know, with my head down, um, making sure this film happened, and enlisted our executive producer, uh, veteran and legendary uh, documentarian uh, for PBS especially, um, Hector Galan, mm -hmm. who stepped in to uh, guide this film to the very end. And without his help and uh, the help of his uh, producer wife, Evie Galan, um, this film wouldn't be happening right now. So I really needed to make sure that I let everybody know this film is such a collaborative um, thing. What do you hope people walk away from after seeing something like this that happened 100 years ago to see it today? My fervent wish is that people will um, dig deeper, ask more questions. My hope, what I'm, what I'm experiencing is that people are like having these aha light bulb moments where they're, they're saying, well, maybe what I was taught wasn't the full story. And so I do hope that uh, other filmmakers, other, other people who are interested in learning about history do dig deeper. What are you going to be thinking about when you have a crowd, a room full of people who are watching this documentary film, something that you loved and you love the person behind it who was creating this? It is somewhat like a, a birth of a happiness of a documentary that people finally get to see but your husband does not. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to be all day today. I woke up thinking about him as I always do, but it's such a special, special day. Um, I was able to um, make part of his dream come true. Um, he had so many. We had so many together. And so um, I'm just so grateful that we had the time that we did together. And I know that wherever he is, he is so happy, so proud, um, and for everybody who has experienced loss and tragedy and grief in their lives, um, I hope that this film can be a testament to how you can persevere, how you can move through those challenges and find some kernels of hope and love that you can hold on to. And that's what this film is for me. This is my husband's love letter. Christina, thank you. Thank you so much, Shelley. Porveni, Texas has its big screen premiere tonight at 7 o'clock at the Paramount Theater in downtown Austin. It is sold out, but the film is also streaming online, so you can watch it. We have a link to information right now at kxan.com.